in this video we are going to discuss about subgroup in algebraic system first let's see what is a subgroup let g comma star is a group so here g comma star means it is a group group and h comma star h comma star is a subgroup of the group it is a subgroup of the group then we can say that h comma star is a subgroup of the group if it satisfies four properties they are closure property second one is associative property third one is identity element fourth one is inverse element okay so we can say that the algebraic system h comma star is a subgroup of the algebraic system g comma star if it satisfies four properties so h comma star is a subgroup of this group if it satisfies these four properties now let us discuss these four properties by demonstrating this example let us see this example let g comma star is a group g is equal to what is the group here group contains totally four elements so 1 comma minus 1 comma i comma minus i and let h comma star is a subgroup of the group check whether 1 comma minus 1 is a subgroup of the group or not okay so group totally contains four elements and subgroup contains two elements so we have to check whether this uh, subgroup is present is is uh, we have to check whether this uh, 1 comma minus 1 is a subgroup of that group or not so here we can say that 1 comma minus 1 is a subgroup of this group if it satisfies these four properties so let us discuss these four properties by demonstrating this example okay so what is the first property the first property is closure property first property is closure property closure property means we have to take two elements from the corresponding group or subgroup okay for any two elements for any two elements here we are checking whether this subgroup is present in the group or not so that's why let us take the subgroup elements so for any two elements a comma b belongs to subgroup means h a comma b belongs to h then then if a star b why because here we are performing the binary operation star then if a star b is also belongs to the is also belongs to the subgroup then we can say that closure property is satisfied so let us take 1 comma minus 1 let a means 1 b means minus 1 so 1 comma minus 1 belongs to h so 1 into minus 1 belongs to h what is the result of 1 into minus 1 minus 1 so minus 1 is also present in the subgroup so we can say that closure property is satisfied now let us uh, focus on the second property the second property is associative property the second property is associative property so associative means we have to take three elements from the subgroup so for any three elements we have to take three elements for any three elements a comma b comma c belongs to the subgroup g then if a star b star c is equal to a star b star c then we can say that then we can say that associative property is satisfied if this lhs is equal to the rhs then we can say that associative property is satisfied here the subgroup contains only two elements one comma minus one so let us consider the next element as either 1 or minus 1 it is our choice so 1 comma minus 1 comma 1 belongs to h so a means 1 b means minus 1 c means 1 why because here the subgroup contains only two elements 
So let us consider C as either 1 or minus 1. It is your choice. So 1 into what is B value? Minus 1 into what is C value? 1 is equal to A into B means what? 1 into minus 1 into what is C value? 1. So 1 into minus 1 into 1 means minus 1 is equal to 1 into minus 1 means minus 1 into 1. So 1 into minus 1 means minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So LHS is equal to RHS. So we can say that associative property is satisfied. Now let us focus on the third property that is identity element. Identity element. And what is the fourth one? Fourth one is inverse element. So first let us focus on identity element. Identity element. Identity element means we have to take two elements from the set. So for any two elements, A comma E belongs to H, A comma E belongs to H, then if A star E is equal to, E star A is equal to A, then we can say that identity element is satisfied. Here we are performing which operation? Multiplication operation. The identity element with respect to the star multiplication is 1. So E value here is 1. Why? Because we are performing multiplication operation. Let us assume that we are performing addition operation. Then E value is 0. So identity element with respect to multiplication is 1. Identity element with respect to the addition is 0. Okay. But here we are performing multiplication. So E is equal to 1. So here what is A value? We can take either 1 or minus 1. So let A means minus 1. So minus 1 is belongs to H. So minus 1 into what is A value is minus 1. Minus 1 into what is E value? 1 is equal to what is E value? 1 into what is A value? Minus 1. So minus 1 into 1 means minus 1. 1 into minus 1 means minus 1. So minus 1 is nothing but the value of A only. So we got A as the result. A means what? Minus 1. So we can say that identity element is also satisfied. Now let us focus on the last one that is inverse element. If it is also satisfied then we can say that 1 minus 1 is a subgroup of this group. Why? Because it satisfies all the four properties. So fourth one is what? Inverse element. Fourth one is inverse element. So identity inverse element. Identity element inverse element. Whereas the first two are properties. Okay. Let we have uh, A. Let A belongs to H. Then there exists an element called A inverse. A inverse is also belongs to H. So let A belongs to H. Then there exists inverse of A. That is A inverse is also belongs to the H. And here the formula is then A into A inverse is equal to A inverse into A is equal to E. If this condition is satisfied, then we can say that inverse element is satisfied. Let A is equal to, we can take either 1 or minus 1. Let A is equal to 1. So 1 belongs to H. So here what is the formula? A into A inverse is equal to, what is the right hand side this value? E. So from this let us obtain what is A inverse. What is A inverse? What is A value? We have taken A as 1. So 1 into A inverse is equal to E. What is E value? We know that the identity element with respect to the multiplication is 1. So 1 into A inverse is equal to 1. So we can say that what is A inverse value? 1 by 1. 1 by 1 is nothing but 1 only. So here A is 1. A inverse is also 1. So what is A value? 1. So 1 into what is A inverse value? 1. That is equal to what is A inverse value? 1 into here we have uh, uh, here we have find the A inverse value. Okay. And then we are substituting A and A inverse value in this equation. Is equal to A inverse value is 1. And what is A value? 1. Is equal to 1 into 1 means 1. 1 into 1 means 1. So 1 is nothing but E value. 1 is nothing but E value. So we can say that inverse element is also satisfied. So with this we can say that uh, the subgroup 1 minus 1 is it is a subgroup of this group. So likewise in the examination they may give question on uh, the subgroup as either 1 comma i or i comma minus i or minus 1 comma minus i. Likewise uh, you may get uh, different questions. Okay. Here we are uh, uh, here uh, uh, we can say that 1 comma minus 1 is 
a subgroup of this group. So this is about subgroup in algebraic system.